Okay guys, so here is the finished product of my son's Halloween costume. He was a aviation pilot and his main part of his costume was an airplane that I had to build. So for the most part of this, this was supposed to be an easy project, all cardboard, but my wife really wanted the propeller to spin. So as we kept going on and on with the project, we had to improvise, and you guys see the improvis improvisation. For the most part, it's just a cardboard box with a box fan fan attached to the front of it. And the cardboard is cut out in a certain way so that it makes it look like a plane. And I'm not really a crafty kind of guy, but I think it came out really well. What do you guys think? So as you guys can see, it's just a cardboard box. I took the cardboard box and I duct taped the ends together. Then I measured a little bit more than halfway on the box, straight line, and I cut the top off of it. You want to leave a little bit of the front because that's basically the dashboard of the plane. And as you can see, after I cut it, the integrity of the box was compromised a little bit. So then I used some duct tape to reseal it so that that way it was nice and sturdy. I made cut-ins with the pizza pan. This is about where the kid's arm should be when it's done. And as you can see, again, the box was compromised a little bit, so I used more duct tape. And the duct tape's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to be another thing that you have to spray paint. I took a piece of box. You'll have to kind of determine the size based off the size of the box that you're using, but started to work as a tail fin. I placed the tail fin basically where I wanted to be, made a mark with a sharpie of where the bottom of the base was going to be. As you guys can see here, my wife brought me my kid's little plane so that I had a little bit of inspiration to keep working on it. So you're going to take the piece of cardboard that you chose to be the tail fin, you're going to lay it down and you're going to cut a diagonal across it. That way it shows as the front of the fin. The diagonal cut is what's going to be facing the back of the plane. Then you're going to take the cardboard, you're going to put it along the box, you're going to measure with Sharpie exactly how much you need to cut. You're going to have to cut just a little bit more because after you're done you're going to have to push that piece in and then fold it over. So here I kind of marked it how I was going to fold it over. Then I folded it over so that I could get a good fold before I put it inside the box. Then I went and I started shoving it into the box. You got to be a little bit forceful. Uh, I turned the little piece of cardboard over just a little bit and then I started taping and taping and taping and I really wanted it to be sturdy so I did a great job of duct taping it. But whenever you look at it at the end you can see it's really starting to come along. So then I made a line a little bit lower than center mass on it. And then I added in this other little piece of cardboard I cut, but you can see it's kind of a little diagonally. Uh, I put some tape to brace it and just tried to make it where it would be a little bit more straight. It kept trying to tilt to the left. Next, I took a big square out of the bottom. I didn't take the entire square out of the bottom, just a big chunk of it, more of a chunk than the top. Uh, I wanted to make sure that my kid would have enough room to move his feet without hitting the box. I was able to take the portion of cardboard that I pulled out of the bottom of the box for wings. What I did was I took it and I cut it in half. After I cut it in half I drew a little kind of diagonal on the ends of the wings where it would show the curve of the wings. I put them together the best I could so that the wings would be pretty even. After that, I held the wing up to the box around where I wanted it on the side. I drew in Sharpie and then I cut in the box. Then just like we did with the tail, we pushed in the box, turned it over, and then duct taped it so that it would be nice and steady. Then we proceeded to do the same thing to the other side.
And then when you look at it, you can totally see a plane is forming. You see the wings, you see the tail, and you really start getting excited about the project. I took our little plane outside, put it on top of some plastic, and then proceeded to spray paint it. Uh, it actually took two full cans of spray paint, which surprised me. Um, but also, if you're doing it, you want to have a box that doesn't have a lot of print. Um, I had to go over a couple of times so that you didn't see what the contents of the box used to be. Um, after I spray painted it, I took it into the garage and then I started working on the propeller. I used a plate and the roll of duct tape as big circle, little circle, and then I cut out what would work as the propeller. I think I kind of cut it out a little too long. Then I took the little circle and I gray taped the two propellers to it. And at the end I took the outside layer and attached it. Then I spray painted it silver. After I let it dry I poked a hole right in the center and I used a bolt. And with that bolt I fastened it to the front of the plane by poking a hole in the front of the plane. Now this kind of didn't work quite as well as I wanted. The propeller was kind of leaning a little bit and my wife was very adamant, no, no, the propeller has to spin. It has to spin. So then I moved on. So <clears throat> in order to get a propeller that actually rotated, uh, my wife suggested using a box fan and taking the fan blade off of it. So I took it apart, I spray painted the fan, let it dry, um, I tried to put the frame inside the plane but it just made it way 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 too top heavy so I cut the braces that hold the fan into the box fan and I used those braces so it wasn't quite as heavy and I uh, managed to screw in the motor I had to cut a circle so that part of the motor could fit inside the plane and screwed it together and it screwed together well the braces were holding well and the fan was on there perfectly as you guys can see even the electricity part of it worked I was able to plug in the fan and the fan was able to rotate now I do want to warn you that this is electricity so it's not something you should play around with um, you can see I added the straps and I added two flashlights to be headlights for the plane and at that point it was pretty the finished much result done. turned out to be pretty dang awesome if i may say so myself and as you guys can see from the picture my kid loved it it ended up being too front heavy to use the straps so the straps kind of were pointless we had a umbrella stroller from previous use that we were able to attach we were able to basically just place the box on top of it and it sat perfectly on it and then we were able to roll around so he went trick-or-treating while riding around in his airplane and mommy and daddy had to do most of the work mommy had to ring the doorbell and daddy had to fly the plane from house to house all in all it was a really great costume to make for my kid and one of the best things about being a father is to do something that's going to make your kid smile like that Alright you guys, have a good one.